everybody! Today we are going to be learning about a Native American tradition. If you look at these photos here... Now what do you think these are? These are called wampum. What do you think these are made out of? Today, we use plastic to make beads, but the Native Americans would have used quahog shells. The quahog shells are not in this area. They are found in Cape Cod. Now, how do you think Native Americans at Great Bay got shells all the way from Cape Cod? Well, they probably would have traded with some of the Native American tribes in that area. Now, beads called wampum were made from quahog shells by drilling into the shell with a piece of bone that was sharpened at the end, like maybe an antler. These beads had many uses. They were sometimes made into belts, like the pictures I showed you earlier. They could also be used and given as gifts, as tokens of friendships, for anniversaries or engagement presents. And later on, they were even used as money by the colonists. The rate was six white beads or three purple beads would equal one penny. And they could use this to pay their taxes or even college tuition. Can you imagine paying for college with wampum? You definitely couldn't do that today. If you guys look closely at this beaded belt, you can see a pattern. What type of pattern do you think this is? Well, this is actually a teacher and 10 students. So this one right here is a teacher. And then these are all the students. Now this may seem like a simple task, but it was actually a lot of hard work and took a lot of practice and time and I'm gonna show you how they did it. Here are all the materials you need to make your wampum. So you have your little piece of leather here, probably came from an animal hide, your quahog shell, your sharpened antler, a little piece of wood hollowed out in the middle, and lastly, a bow drill, which was made out of a whittled piece of wood and sinew. First, you're gonna put down your piece of leather and then your quahog shell, and then your piece of deer antler, which you're gonna try and keep in the center of the shell. And then you're going to wrap the bow drill, and you wanna kinda wrap it around the center of the deer antler here. And then, this is the tricky part. You want your piece of wood on the top, so you're gonna wanna press down and kinda keep even pressure on the wood and antler here. And then you're just gonna slowly go back and forth with your bow drill. And eventually it would create holes in the quahog shell, which would become little beads. And then they would be strung together and they would be kind of rough around the edges. They wouldn't be all smooth and round. So what the Native Americans would do would smooth them out in the center of a rock until they were nice and round and then they would eventually bead all those together to make a belt. Thanks for watching. Do you think you could make wampum?